Hi everybody, this is Ivan, I am Market Analyst from Marketing and Consulting Company Indexbox and today we're looking at the European market for household and sanitary articles of paper. We are looking at uh, app.indexbox.io. The link to this you will find under the video description. We've chosen the, uh, the product in the product search here. We're looking at the European Union and the period from 2013 till 2018. Okay. Uh, just first thing to start, uh, the, the announced title of the video is the tissue, uh, tissue paper and we're going to look at the range of the household and sanitary articles of paper, such so the toilet paper, uh, the kitchen towels, tissues and products like that, it's not only the tissue paper. Okay. Now, uh, in general, we are currently in economic downturn and it is quite hard to assess how severe the consequences will be in the end. With the surge of the panic buying of the sanitary paper products, especially the toilet paper across the European Union, we can look at the overall um, EU market structure for these products and we can assess whether this panic buying has had a logical basis under it and look at make uh, and, and, and make some uh, predictions based on the structure uh, we observed. Okay, now let's look at the overall statistics. Uh, the market size, and by the way this is uh, calculated in wholesale prices, the market size in 2018 is 19.5 billion dollars, that's a 1% decrease from previous year, consumption is 10.1 million tons, um, and the average growth rate from 2013 until 2018 has been 1.4 percent and the leader in consumption in the European Union is Germany. Okay, now um, the, 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 the trend here is rather flat, we'll come back to this. The top countries are Germany, Italy, UK, France, Spain and Poland. Now this is the top six uh, in the EU in terms of population too. So no wonder uh, they are the top six in consumption. And the UK is here uh, too, but this is the statistics for 2018, so again, no wonder. Uh, Germany uh, consumes almost 2.5 million uh, tons uh, in 2018, that's 24.5 percent. Italy 1.3 million, that's almost 13 percent. UK 1.3, that's also almost 13 percent. France 9.4 percent, that's almost 1 million. And Spain 878,000, that's 8.7 percent. Poland almost 700, that's 6.9 percent uh, of the market. Okay, so uh, the, yeah, the trend is very uh, flat and it has been flat since 2016 and very very slowly increasing from 2013 and just in general the recovery after the 2008 has been very slow uh, the south of Europe Italy Greece and Spain has been recovering rather slowly after the, the crisis and only to the pre-crisis level with the Western Europe, the market is slow too, mainly because of the weak population growth, about 0.2 to 0.3% per year on average, whilst in some countries the population is even declining. Here it is also worth mentioning that uh, since 2012, a natural change in the EU population has been negative, which means that overall the population increase has been due to the migration and migrants tend to have lower income statistically which pulls the consumption back uh, a little bit. So since household and sanitary paper products are essential goods they will largely depend on the growth of the population and on the growth of incomes in general and therefore this flat trend uh, in the market reflects the, the weak growth uh, of the economy. And additionally, uh, there's, uh, there's a popular trend now to reduce the number of plies in tissue products uh, to save fiber, which also statistically reduces the volume, volume uh, sorry, consumed and, uh, and produced. 
and uh, just in general there is a rather slow innovation going on in the market thanks to the high share of store brands that reduces the demand for innovation and therefore the market is not offering new types of products to attract more consumption okay right let's switch to production um, and the production volume is 10.5 million tons as well the trend is the same and the countries are literally the same it's Germany uh, the top five top six it's Germany Italy UK France Poland and Spain now uh, Germany has 24.7 percent of the market that's 2.6 uh, million tons produced in 2018 Italy 1.75 million tons 16.7 UK 1.17 11.1% France almost 1 million 9.2% Poland 8.8% 930,000 tons uh, produced in Spain 8.888,000 uh, 8 that's 8.4% of the market uh, okay, so uh, clearly some produce more than they consume, so, such as Germany. They uh, uh, they produce four points, almost two point six. They produce, they consume under uh, two point five billion tons. So they mm, uh, export the rest. Uh, the countries import as well, uh, but the numbers are very similar. And what that immediately implies is that there was uh, no log logical reason for this panic consumption since uh, the markets are impressively localized and no trade interruptions interruptions could have possibly affected the stocks um, so some countries um, have most of their product so most of the countries have most of their production inside and very uh, very localized markets overall um, even though the export share is almost 30% now why is that once the markets are localized uh, now uh, export value is 6.3 billion in 2018 and export volume is uh, uh, 3 million tons okay that's again that's uh, wholesale prices uh, so again same countries here Germany Italy Poland France and we have also Sweden and Belgium um, notably there is no UK here it doesn't export at least what is being produced locally in this country um, the numbers are Germany 631,000 uh, that's 21% of the market Italy almost 500,000 16.6% .6 and Poland uh, 326,000 uh, that's almost 11% France almost 300,000 that's 10% uh, of the of the of the uh, exports market in the UK in the European Union sorry um, and yeah um, even exports are rather regional uh, even though Germany is the top exporter it exports to its neighboring Netherlands Austria France Belgium and Switzerland and if we go to imports we will see that Germany is top importer too now uh, the reason is that you would have uh, a higher quality uh, more expensive products produced in let's say again Germany and Germany would also import a lot of less expensive Polish uh, sanitary paper products uh, in fact uh, Poland uh, Polish imports are about 30% of the total German imports for this product type of products okay so Germany uh, in terms of numbers uh, almost 20% uh, that's 516,000 tons uh, imported uh, France 282,000 10.8% UK 223,000 8.5% Netherlands 204,000 that's 7.8% okay so let's go uh, back to the main page and conclude a little bit so therefore 
The overall expectation is that the market will stay uh, flat in the long run as long as the EU economy will be showing weak to no growth as it does now, the, as it has been doing so far and obviously uh, it will show weak growth as the world economy in 2020-2021. The short-term surge in the consumption in 2020 will be balanced off later by a short-term plummeting of the consumption. Overall, the consumption may fall in, 2000, uh, in, in, in 2020 and the scale of the fall will depend on the scale and the length of the crisis uh, that we are entering right now. Although a shortage of production is definitely not something to be afraid of. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please press the like button if you found this interesting and subscribe if you want more of material like that. See you next time.